art friends. This week's focus um, is going to be abstract art. Abstract art is art that really isn't supposed to look like anything real. It's just created to give you a feeling. So we're going to make our art and try to think about what feelings we might get. All right. So today's project is super easy. The artist's name is Hunderwasser. That's how I always say it anyway. I think Wasser sounds like water to me. So when I'm teaching it, especially to my kinders, I say Hunderwasser. Hunderwasser. And I kind of make this little wave thing with my hands. So this is Hunderwasser. And he is known for these super fun, organic kind of swirls and twirls. And this one I made with cool colors on this side and warm colors on this side. Cool and warm. Can you see that boys and girls? The blues and the greens on this side. And I got the reds and the oranges going on this side. You can decide because I think that the warms and the cool colors give you different feelings, don't they? Yes. So we're gonna focus on making art this week that gives um, us different feelings. And so this is gonna be super easy and fun. For your supplies today, all you need is a piece of white paper. And if you have watercolor paints, they work great. If you don't and you have broad tip, the kind of fat markers, those would be great too. I don't even have fat markers at home. Can you believe it? I need to get some, but they need to be watercolor, not Sharpie, it won't work. So um, watercolor paints or watercolor markers, you need a black and a white crayon if you have them or oil pastel works great. Um, and then a brush and some water. All right, you press pause, get your supplies and meet me back here. All right, welcome back. Super easy. So I'm going to start with my black crayon and I'm going to put some nice organic twirls on my paper. So I have a big piece of paper because I want you to be able to see. I'm going to start um, at the top and I'm going to make my twirls this time. Last time they were kind of more rectangular. This time I'm going to kind of make circles because another thing or spirals that um, Hundert Wasser is known for are these kind of like lollipop trees. So all I'm doing is going around and around and I'm pushing pretty hard. And then for the stem of my tree, I'm just going to do a zigzag. All right. Remember, it's not supposed to really look like anything. Just give people a feeling when they're looking at it and see my crayon, it broke already because I'm pressing hard, but that shows you that I'm doing the right thing. All right, so I'm gonna make, this one's bigger. Back here, I'm gonna make a smaller one. And when I bump into this line, I'm gonna stop, okay? And again, I'm gonna make a zigzag. I think I'll make another one here. This time I'm gonna start on the outside, like a big letter C. And now it's almost like a G, because I'm coming up. But then I'm just going to kind of keep going around and around and around. All right. And again, I'm going to make these squiggly lines. All right. So you can fill your paper with these. Um, I, these little circles, I put my blue tape around again um, for watercolor. I like to do that because as it dries, see, I didn't on this one and it got kind of bumpy. See how my paper is bumpy and I can flatten that out, but it's not as straight. So this one can dry now when I'm finished today and it won't be as bumpy and kind of warped. That's okay. All right. So I have all my little, um, spirals on here and they're not perfect. You see that one kind of goes funny and whatever. Um, Maybe I'll put one more back here. All right, so I wonder, and this one might be more of an oval. I don't know. It's okay. So there we go. So I have my 
organic shapes just kind of floating around. I'm going to add um, maybe a little. No, I think I'll use white. See, I'm just deciding as I go, and I hope you do too. Another fun thing to do is to use the white crayon or white oil pastel. Don't touch the black lines though. So I might start inside my twirls and I'm gonna add some white and you're like, what, I can't see that. Nope, it's a surprise, right? No one's gonna be able to see it until you paint it, all right? I'm gonna put some wavy lines down here. And again, you can't see them until you paint them, which is a super fun thing to do. So I'm just kind of going inside my twirls with the white. And that's going to add some fun lines and color for sure. All right. So once you get your white crayon on there and you have your circles and spirals or maybe you're going to make yours like these rectangles it's fine um we're going to paint and i think it's kind of fun to paint with water first to get your paper a little bit wet it's called the wet on wet and you can go right over the crayon remember that resists the water because it's so waxy all right, so I put the water on first, and now I'm going to put some color on. Let's see, maybe I'll pretend that I'm starting out with the blues and make it sort of a pretend sky. Remember, it doesn't have to look like anything because it's abstract. So I'm going to get this on here and see it's going to kind of drip down, and I like that. We did that, I think, with another project recently. We just put the color on however we want and kind of mix and match as we go. There's some turquoise, boys and girls. Isn't that pretty in the sky? All right. So I'm going to paint this, and as I go, I think I'm going to give myself some pink pops. You're going to see lots of different colors and those white lines are going to start to show and they kind of add some fun. And then when I'm ready to be done, I think I'm going to um, use the white and kind of spatter paint it. What do you think about that? So we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to make the cool colors on the outside and I am going to use my warm colors, the reds and oranges and pinks and maybe even some yellow on the inside and see how that goes. All right, so let's see what happens. I really, really need um, to get myself a nice big paintbrush. That is super soft. Maybe this one will work. It's really not. This is, um, yeah, that's probably good. This is kind of a multi-purpose paintbrush. Usually I use this kind for the temper or the acrylic, but those other ones are so small for my really big painting that I don't like it as much. There we go. Now we're getting some color, aren't we? All right, so I add the water first. And the crayon is resisting. Remember, it's pushing away the color. I like that. Yeah, just kind of play around, maybe mix some colors. And don't forget, boys and girls, when you're finished, let it dry. And then um, you can send it to me, my email, icorc at mtcps.org, or you can post it straight to my Glitter and Glue with Mrs. Icor's Facebook page. Have your parents do that so I can see what you came up with. And we're going to be abstract all week. So we're going to paint and draw and create things that are not supposed to look real. All right. So we'll see how this one turns out. I'll post it for you in a little while. Have a great day.
see you tomorrow.